This week's tip is about keeping everyone on the same page. As a planner, the most important thing to me and my role and my team's role is to keep everyone on the same page and over communicate. We over communicate with the hotels, the vendors, the transportation company, the wedding party, the family, the bride, the groom. We want to make sure that everyone is on the same page. So a couple years ago, we had our, our normal timeline that we send out to all the vendors, the transportation company, the concierge desk, at the hotels so that when guests come down and say, what time is the shuttle leaving for such and such wedding or event, the concierge service can let them know. Well, in this situation, the bride had made her own itineraries for the guest welcome boxes. So we had over 100 guests check into the hotel and receive an itinerary that had a schedule for transportation that said one thing, and then my timeline, which was sent to the wedding party and the family, said another. And the, the times were pretty drastically off. And so I thought to myself, how in the heck did this happen? Me and the client sat down, we did the timeline together. It was just a typo on her part. And she didn't send me the itinerary to proof it, and honestly, I didn't think to ask for it because I assumed that she would look at the timeline and just transfer the times that the bus schedule set on my timeline to her timeline for the guest. And so you can imagine what transpired out of this. So not only did probably hundreds of phone calls and text messages have to be sent out, text really wasn't big at that time yet, so it was more phone calls, when if I had done the itineraries or if my team had done the itineraries, that way there would have been no communication or only if I had asked to see her itinerary and make sure that it was proofed before it had been printed, then none of this would have happened. So a lot of people say, every time I ask before your invitations, your itineraries, anything that's being printed, I wanna see it. I want five sets of eyes to look at it and make sure that it's correct, especially a transportation timeline so that the wedding party, the family, and the guests, they all know what's going on, they have the exact same information, and you don't look bad as the planner keeping things off track when things are not on track. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.